Good afternoon and welcome to the launch of the STIA's Roadmap Towards Sustainable Digital Infrastructure by 2030. Our motivation for building the roadmap is to deliver sustainability. To reach our sustainability goals, whether they're the SDGs or Paris Climate Accords, industries need to come together and focus on systematically embedding sustainability across the sector. Our roadmap enables systemic change within digital infrastructure. The SDIA brings together all elements of the value chain and the roadmap translates their good intentions into effective actions. The ambition of the roadmap is to make it clear that sustainability in digital infrastructure will lead to new business opportunities. Through the roadmap, we can find the business case in sustainability. The fundamental problem is that the sector lacks leadership and direction. Without either of those, collaboration is nearly impossible. The interconnected, complex, and siloed system that creates digital power cannot change unless each sub-industry can translate sustainability into a direction and align that direction with the direction of the many other sub-industries. The roadmap provides a universal language for organizations to communicate across the silos. It enables each actor to connect, benchmark, and deliver sustainability within their segment of digital infrastructure. So let's dissect the roadmap into its core, uh, into its core elements. The metrics section, the metrics provide the universal language that transcends the siloed sub-industries. These include resource consumption metrics, carbon and energy consumption metrics, pollution metrics, and socioeconomic performance metrics, typically uh, cost of compute. How do these metrics help collaboration? They create a universal language. They create a universal reporting, measurement, and benchmark language across the entirety of the value chain, from pre-operation, operation, and post-operation. Next, we move on to the activities element of the roadmap. Activities denote the many topics of research and progress. This is the main collaborative stage of the roadmap, where actors can problem solve together deliver joint solutions, and let those solutions resonate up and down the value chain. The last section is the targets and milestones section. The targets essentially explain each goal and foster collaboration by focusing outcomes, aligning interests, and aligning priorities. So those are the three main sections of the roadmap, the metrics, activities, and the targets and milestones. To conclude, the roadmap is the system-wide implementation of sustainability. It defines sustainability in all the necessary activities to reach it. It creates a sector-wide dashboard, give it, gives us the ability to track progress through a shared language and drive collaboration through shared targets. Now, in order to reach our goals, we know we need to collaborate. The roadmap shows us opportunities for commercial and scientific collaboration provides guidance for policymakers on where support is needed. Let's dive into that how, into how that looks in practice. As a business, the roadmap gives you a map of the direction of the industry. You know what is required and when. This will help enable commercialization of certain technologies and could lead to spin-off commercializations of other technologies with other partners in the roadmap. In other words, the roadmap helps you find the business case in sustainability. As a researcher, the roadmap provides focus. It shows you what is needed and how, and how R&D plays into the, the wider, grander strategy of the industry. It allows researchers to shape the future and be on the forefront of change. And from a policymaker's perspective, the, re the roadmap creates a fair, balanced economy where industry can do good while doing well without doing harm. It provides the information and direction that policymakers need to ensure their policy positions are reasonable 
and positive. To conclude, businesses have a commercialization map. Researchers can shape the future, future through their R&D agenda and regulators can take action on the climate crisis while supporting European business. But let's be clear, digital infrastructure today does not operate as one sector. However, our alliance is trying to change that. With our alliance and our roadmap, we bring together many industries from across borders, from energy suppliers, data center operators, construction companies to digital businesses establishing the roadmap as the universal mechanism of change. These industries are now joining forces as a unified sector and are collaborating, collaborating towards a shared sustainability goal enabled by the SDIA's roadmap. Let's look at some examples. <clears throat> energy companies could provide new energy as a service models, ensuring not just renewable power supply, but enabling demand response, backup power as a service and heat recovery as a service. This allows them to focus on what they do best, delivering 100% reliable energy, combining this with new architecture and design in the building sector, collaboration between the energy and construction companies can easily deliver near zero, nearly zero energy buildings, NZEBs, with their own re renewable generation and taking full advantage of the surrounding energy system. This transforms the data center itself from a, from, a, <clears throat> excuse me, from a siloed operation to an integrated system of the wider energy landscape. Through collaboration, the data center operator can now become more sustainable while focusing on maximizing his own value creation, leaving energy and building infrastructure to the other industries. Digital businesses running on data centers need to take responsibility and collaborate with the digital infrastructure providers to link software together with its underlying resource and energy consumption. To conclude, as you've seen, the potential for collaboration across the digital infrastructure sector is vast and the roadmap facilitates this collaboration using the universal language of the sustainability metrics. So what does the future look like in which we have successfully created sustainable digital infrastructure. Well, in order to make significant progress by 2030, businesses and governments alike must rethink how they procure their own IT. The roadmap defines sustainability in, and its metrics. Now it's time to consider how those metrics, how, you, how we take action and compare those actions with the measurement metrics. For example, procuring IT services and infrastructure. Only then can we successfully reach our goal of truly sustainable digital infrastructure. A digital economic utopia. Now let's, let's just briefly travel back in time. When coal became radically cheaper, it kick-started the widespread adoption of steam and combustion engines. This led to the industrial revolution. Today, digital power is the new fuel that drives the, the economy, the engine room of the digital economy. Cheap and abundant digital power will trigger the digital industrial revolution. We are right at the beginning of it. And it's a, it's, an, it's a fantastic opportunity. We are facing the opportunity of a lifetime, building the digital infrastructure for our future digital economy. With the technology and know-how available today, we can make the digital industrial revolution a sustainable industrial revolution. To finish off this presentation, I want to explain to you what it means to get to, to zero on our sustainability metrics. In terms of rare mineral consumption, less minerals means less mining, means less child labor. In terms of CO2 production or CO2 equivalence production, well, we know cheap energy is the single most effective means to get people out of poverty. Digital infrastructure can support driving down the cost of energy and reduce pressure on the grid. It can also decouple fossil fuel growth from energy growth by being the integrator of renewable energy. And of course, on electronic waste, less waste is, means less landfill, less pollution, 
and more, more recycling means less mining and more efficient use of resources. Sustainability is possible. If you don't know what to do, go to our website and find out. We need everyone from energy to digital startups to work with us to create a truly sustainable digital future. So take this with you. Please go to sdialliance.org forward slash roadmap and find out where you can contribute with your products, your research and your support.